fiddle with you coast to coast around the world on American Forces Radio Network. Uh, Jim, let's let's start with you. When you know, whenever I hear somebody directed something, I always like to think that you know you're. I don't know if you can say fifty fifty, but you're one part. Everything you've learned from other directors, whether people you've worked with or people you've watched, and then the other fifty percent is you're putting your own spin on it. How many times did you sort of take a step back and say, "Well, this is all Kubrick," or "This is all me," or do you have moments like that? Well, I think you definitely have moments like that, and and specifically with this movie, uh, for me, back when we were working on the script for the movie, Roger Corman has always been the guiding light for the picture. Uh, you know, he definitely is the king of B movies, and and um, he, he did a lot of clever things where he would rent the set of an existing movie and have a script written to get a movie produced on that set to keep, you know, budgets down. And so anytime I step back, I always go, well, what would Roger do uh, in this case? So, yes, he definitely influenced the film. He's still with us, too. He's like in his mid-90s, if I'm not mistaken. He just had a pandemic uh, film competition uh, on his website uh, that he had a bunch of people do two-minute films with their uh, cell phones, a very clever thing. He had some famous people participate as well. (laughs) 